So high mortgage rates are deterring sellers who have that 3 and 4% interest rate. And they just don't want to lose that low interest rate and buy a house with a 5 6 7% interest rate. Of course they don't. Who would? That's totally understandable. But here's what I foresee, and this is where the huge opportunity is right here. And this is how you can literally visualize uh, a game plan that will put you as being the number one agent in your market, making a million dollars, whatever your big dreams and goals are to create this massive business. This is the play. And this is so similar to what happened to me in 2008. I went all in with representing buyers on foreclosures because I knew they were going to turn around and sell those properties at a huge profit in, th in three years and up upgrade to another property and refer five people to me. And that's what happened. And that's how I got to 100 deals a year, representing buyers for three or four years on foreclosures. This is your 2008 right now. And this is why. The reason that mortgage rates are deterring sellers from, from selling is the same reason why it's going to make sellers sell in the next coming years. Now, understand the philosophy here. We're having sellers decide not to sell because of high interest rates. That's going to have the opposite effect on people who are buying right now at the higher rates. So everybody feels like and everybody's in unison that mortgage rates are going to get down into the fives over the next couple years. OK, so imagine the buyers who are buying today at six and seven percent. And then in three years, rates are five percent. Aren't they going to be excited to sell their house? They're sitting on six percent, seven percent interest upgrade to a nicer house at a five percent interest. A yeah, they are. So that's going to help this inventory problem. Now, we're also going to see some 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 relief with inventory when rates get down to five now, because you've got this pent up demand of people who are sitting in houses at four percent who really want to move. They're not happy where they are. They need a bigger house. They want a nicer house, whatever the case may be. And they're going to trade up. And they're going to pay a little more interest just because they got to that breaking point. So right now we're not at that point at the six and seven range. But when we get to the five to six range, we're going to see a little relief with the inventory. And then as rates get down and we give time for the people who are buying right now to decide to trade up over the next two to three to four to five years, we're going to see those listings hit the market. And those buyers, those sellers are going to turn into buyers for nicer homes. So planting the seeds right now, going all in on your business to get out there and represent as many people as you can, whether they're buying or selling. Because the more buyers you can represent right now during this time of high interest rates, the more great listings you're going to have over the next one, two, three, four, five years. And the more deals you're going to do because they're going to upgrade into other homes and they're going to refer so many people to you. This is your moment right here to get in there and, and do the same thing I did back in 2008. That's the opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, I just wanted to share this. I think this is amazing that we're about to go not only positive year over year price-wise, but we're going to go to an all new high price-wise. And I'm, I'm starting to see light at the end of the tunnel with inventory. Will it take a couple of years for this all to play out? Of course it will. It's not going to happen overnight, but it's not going to stay like it is forever. Every mark, every stage of the market cycle is temporary. So don't let this deter you. Don't let this get you down. Don't sit around thinking, oh, I'm not going to make it in real estate. Yes, you are going to make it in real estate. Go all in on your business. Talk to as many people as possible. I'll tell you what you don't do. Sit around waiting on leads to come to you. If you're doing that, you're not going to make it right now in this business. You, This is right now the moment where you have to be the one initiating the conversations. So get out there and initiate as many conversations as you can. Build that database. Do your weekly email. Do the things that you know you need to do. Think long term. Make a bunch of money. Do a bunch of deals this year. But know that you're planting seeds that's going to turn into a massive snowball over to, the next couple years. All right? Hey, have a great Saturday. I love you guys. We'll see you on the next video. Let's go. I-35 with a top down. Quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seem like everybody want to be the boss, but it costs and these lames ain't like me. Drop a couple bands on the crypto fans, no way go. I ain't got to tell them what it is. Tell them I'm a grown man, so you'll never fool me with the cap you be selling to the kids. Shorty, we the lords of the land, we wavy. Bad little mama trying to have a baby. In a coupe seat color like gravy. Children of the
the sun. 